Early development demands energy. This may be obtained by the individual or can be provided by parental care. In mammals, breastfeeding ensures the energy for proper growth and development of the infant. Human development also depends on breastfeeding in the first year of life. Consuming breast milk of other mammals in form of dairy products remains a relevant part of the human nutrition in adulthood. However, today nearly 60% of infants are never breastfed and further 25% receives breast milk only for a limited time, often just for days. While breastfeeding rate decreases, there is a dramatic increase of childhood obesity today. It translates to 41 million obese children in 2016, which is predicted to reach 70 million in six years. Adipose tissue development in infancy, hence, has a lifelong impact. In infants, the adipose tissue is built up from so-called beige fat cells which burn off lipids as heat. Until pre-puberty age, the beige fat cells transform into fat-storing white adipose cells. Reverting this process is thought to reduce obesity in adulthood. In our study, we show that breastfed infants maintain beige adipocytes, while formula-fed infants develop white adipose cells prematurely. Similarly, Lack of breastfeeding led to the loss of beige fat cells and increased fat depot in neonate mice. A breast milk specific lipid group, so called alkyl glycerols, maintain beige fat cells and protect the infant from obesity. Alkyl glycerols are metabolized by resident macrophages of the adipose tissue. This eventually activates STAT3 signaling in adipocytes and triggers beige fat cell differentiation. This signal mechanism is inactive in lean adults, however, can be activated in obesity. Only breast milk provides a sufficient amount to preserve beige fat cells. Alkoglycerols are breast milk specific lipid mediators which are key for healthy adipose tissue development.